right there. Ooh, that's a big small mouth. Wow. Because there's no question about it. The less I'm working this bait today, the more bites I get. Good morning, guys. We are back at it. So just so you guys know, I've had some questions, some comments about the upload schedule. I mentioned this in the beginning of the year, basically not uploading every three days anymore. Haven't been doing a ton of uploading, haven't been doing a ton of fishing, to be honest. For this month, I'll probably get seven or eight videos out, uploads every four to five days. It's gonna pick up in February for sure, but come springtime, springtime hopefully gonna push out a lot of content have a lot of tournaments planned it's gonna be a pretty packed full schedule of tournaments this spring and summer so working as much as i can now to have a little bit more time in the spring so just wanted to let you guys know that another video another day of fishing it's gonna be a good day let's see what happens dude this is wild you guys gotta check this out i am freezing my butt off there's a deer crossing the lake that thing's crazy. Just going for a little swim. The water is actually warmer than the air. I guess I can't blame it. Man, the things you see out here. Alrighty. Give this another shot. Like I said, and I mentioned in the other videos, probably not going to commit an entire day to a big Huddleston, but I am going to keep it with me. And a bunch of you guys said I needed to switch the big eight inch Huddleston with an open hook. So that is what we're gonna be fishing today. Man, that's a that's big, that's substantially heavier. Ooh, that's a slow sinking one too. I think this is an ROF five. So you can see how slow that one sinks. I mean, that looks pretty good. Kind of like that ROF five over the, over the 12. like if you're even a little bit hungry and you have like a nice in and out burger just sitting in front of you. That's what I'd imagine. If this bait goes by a big bass, it's like free, tasty meal. I mean, how do you pass it up? Even if you just ate, gotta take a bite at least. A little disclaimer, I still have no clue what I'm doing with this bait other than casting it and reeling it back in. Such a good shot. That's an amazing shot, son. <laughs> Just getting a little, little B roll shot. Let the jig sit. Look who showed up. Mr. Spot. <laughs> Oh man, first fish of the day, nice hot dog, ate the uh, finesse football jig, wouldn't you know, and uh, let him go. You're gonna notice a little bit of a tweak to this bait. Got a different trailer on there. Check that bad boy out. It's one of the uh, six cents stroker craws. I chopped off about half the body and threaded it on this PB&J jig. And this stroker craws, I just like it. It's a little bit meatier than the rage chunks as far as the body goes. And uh, unlike the rage craw, it doesn't have those like raised edges where it displaces a lot of water. It has nice little pinchers, but it won't give off or displace as much water, but still give a lot of action. Just dead sticking it as I was just doing and uh, that spot wanted it. Let's see if there's a few more over there. There's a bite. This was a lot shallower than I thought. Easy there, huh? They want this jig. <laughs> Large mouth. Feisty fella. Oh, there's a bunch of them below us too. If I catch one more shallow or shallower, talking less than 10, I might have to throw a crankbait on. At least they're biting today. <laughs> Another mushy bite. I found a little pile of largemouth right here. It's like an identical fish. Whew. 
Man, they're biting today. Only been fishing for like an hour. Three bites so far. I won't complain about that. There's another bite. Oh, I missed him. Missed that one. Son of a gun. There we go. It's an aggressive one. Yeah, these large ones are all like little clones of each other. They want this jig though. That is for sure. I am definitely liking this combination right here. I think actually the less action I give, the better to this jig, it seems like. Whoa, we're lit up right there. But yeah, every bite so far is letting this drag over something or dead stick in it. It's funny, it's the exact opposite as to how they wanted it last time. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Ah! Where are you? That's a good one. Man! Ah! Got my large mouth. Alright. Not a bad one. Right there. Oh, not doing a very good job of landing fish today. Hot dogs. Again, made the cast, let it sit, and oh, I just saw it start swimming off. Dude, what the heck? I'm getting bites. Those are bites for sure. This, that is. So what is the deal? I just missed three bites. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> First cast on the drop shot. They ate that. Little hazedong shad. That's a good one too. Ooh, that's a real nice one. Another spot. I don't think it's net worthy, but it's that. I knew I was getting bites down there. Little hazy dog shad right in the upper lip. Caught one on something other than a jig. First drop with a drop shot. I don't know. The one thing I do know is they're biting today. It's definitely one of the best days of fishing I've had in a long time, as far as just catching some numbers. That trailer lasted six fish, plus a bunch of missed bites. So I'll show you exactly what I'm doing, or what I was using. New little trailer for me. By six cents, this is the Stroker Craw 3.3 in Oxblood. So again, like I mentioned, really like the colors of six cents baits, uh, hard baits and their plastics. So this is a little Stroker Craw in Oxblood. Just a perfect little match for a PB&J jig. What I was doing was I was just cutting off about half the body. Just kind of shaping it up a little bit. Taking my jig. You want to make sure that you orient it this way, right through the center. Disconnect the claws. That's been money so far today. Fine. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, in the boat. Another decent largemouth. Same deal. There's a pile of them right there. <laughs> Ooh, I went over the graph and I saw a bunch of other. Oh, that's a smallmouth. That's an, ooh, that's a big smallmouth. It's a real big smallmouth for... Wow. It's probably one of the biggest smallmouth I've caught in a while. 
Nice, good smallie. Pretty fish. That's exactly where that largemouth was in. Again, just letting the jig sit. I'll have to verify this, but I'm pretty sure these claws like uh, float and they, they sit up. Because they're so long, just a tiny bit of current, I think those claws just kind of, you know, dance or something. It just gives it a really good action, but a subtle action. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Can't complain, this is probably the best day of fishing I have had in a long time. Caught some numbers today, and everything came on that jig except the one on the Hazadong Shad, but this was the jig we were using today, my standard go-to Kitech Finesse football jig in PB&J. But like I said, today I changed up the trailer using that six cents stroker craw, and uh, the bass did not mind this at all today. One thing I like about this particular craw over my traditional Rage Menace, I think this has a little bit less action, and it actually has a little bit beefier profile. You can see that the kind of the body of that is a little meatier than a rage chunk and the claws are longer. These tails don't give off a ton of water but they're longer and what I think really helped this bait today was actually allowing it to sit in the water kind of dead sticking it working it slow and those claws would just kind of kick up in the air and the bass definitely wanted it like that. We hardly caught any fish today stroking this jig or snapping it. That was the magic bait today. As always, I will link all the gear, the baits, the trailer in the description below. There might even be a little bit of a promo code for you guys who are interested in that little stroker crop, but uh, can't beat it. Another day in January fishing, catching numbers on a jig. I will certainly take it. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in like uh, four or five days for the next video. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you.